The sleeper stretch is a really classic stretch for our internal shoulder rotation when our arm is in a flexed position, meaning that arm is in front of us. But there are ways that we can make this more active to strengthen the supporting muscles so that they get stronger in this range of motion. To come into our traditional stretch or sleeper stretch, we're gonna lie on your side. Start with our bottom arm, elbow bent directly in front of us. You can have a block under your head if that's a little bit more comfortable for your neck. If you don't need a block, you can have your head just hanging out in space. I really like the head block. From here, we're going to take our top hand and give our fist a gentle assist, trying to reach it towards the floor. I'm not going to push so much that my elbow lifts or it starts to slide around in space. It should feel like a little bit of a stretch kind of in the top of the shoulder, maybe a little bit in the back of the shoulder. So this is our starting position. This is an internal shoulder rotation. We're reaching that hand towards the floor. From here, we're going to contract those muscles that are being stretched by pushing our fist up into our hand as if we were gonna push it all the way away, but I'm gonna use this arm nice and strong to not let my hand move. So this is an isometric contraction, meaning our muscles aren't shortening or lengthening in length. They're staying the same length the whole time. So holding my arm in this stretched position, I'm gonna resist pushing that fist up into my hand for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Then I can relax that arm. I might be able to help it just a teeny bit lower towards the ground and do a little bit of a deeper stretch. So this is very classic for contract, relax, tiled stretching, where we're alternating contracting those muscles for a couple of seconds and then immediately relaxing, seeing if we can go a little deeper. If that feels good, you can repeat that for another two to three rounds of resisting contracting those muscles for 10 seconds and then relaxing for 10 to 20 seconds, seeing if you can sink a little bit deeper. If you liked this video and you're looking for more free flexibility training advice, there's a lot more where that came from on my website, where I regularly post blog posts with stretching tips, as well as detailed stretch breakdowns like this video. You can check it out at dannywinksflexibility.com.